collect comic books. Today we're going to go through my mail call for the week. I get uh, stuff every week just about in the mail, so uh, this is going to be my Things from Another World order, which I usually order from their uh, preview like a couple months in advance. I also get stuff from my local comic shop, but we've got those videos that you can watch. Uh, we have a couple variants from some, uh, one of my favorite books. We've also got a special cover of one of my favorite books. Another favorite book of mine that whenever I saw this cover, I just had to have it. It wasn't something that I necessarily get a incentive variant on. And then the last book we have is uh, one of the uh, fellows in the community were uh, talking about how they just finally finished up a run of one of their favorite book series, and it's actually one of my favorite series of all time. Like, even whenever I quit collecting comic books, I bought this book, and I still don't have them all because, you know, I just try to find them here and there. And this guy just randomly sent me one of the miss issues I was missing because he knew I was missing it, and he had a full run. So we'll see what that is, and uh, I'll uh, talk to you all again at the end of the video to see what stuff I really think is the coolest out of all this. All right. All right, guys, what's up? Once again, when I do some of these bigger vi boxing videos and things, got my trusty assistant, James, with me, and he is getting ready to pass me that Things From Another World order, the big, huge box. Yeah, and we're gonna set this down here. All right. Let's see what we got in here. A pretty decent sized box. Oh, packing peanuts again. We haven't had these for last order. All right, but no bag this time. Hmm. Weird. I'm glad I didn't. I almost threw it away. I found more books. All right. All right, let's see what we have first. We're starting out. Suicide Squad, get the Joker variant cover. Uh, book three. We have Demons, number two, which this is the foil cover. We have Demons, number two, the B cover. And we have Demons number two, the regular A cover. Hmm. All right, what else have we got here? I guess we could flip it over. We just saw that in free comic book shows. Oh, Twig number one, the Peach Momoko cover. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 20, 128. And then we have the A and B cover. I believe these are both the first full appearances of Venus de Milo. We've been collecting most of her stuff since it started. Task Force Z number 7, the B variant. This cover is done by oh, Lucio Perello. It's awesome. I love the Batman skull on it. And it looks like we have the uh, Asian Heritage Month of cover of Batman Son of Kal El 11, which is done by Brian Ching. And let's see, who else did that say? And Ray Barreto? Uh, we have Peace from Moco cover of Obi Wan, number one, Star Wars. We have Gwenverse number one, the variant. Second printing, actually, of that. 
Scorch number five, which this is the the collecting the connecting cover that's the looks like Jim Lee X Men number one. Red Room number three by Ed Piscor. Love Ed's stuff and love Red Room. It's one of my favorite books in like the whole world right now. Like I collect every single variant and everything I can of it. Uh, Monkey Prince B cover right there, which is really cool, which is done by also, let's see, who's that? DK Rowan? Not sure. Little Monsters B cover right there, Jeff Lemire. Actually, is that, looks almost like it's signed by Lemire and Wynn. But it's a little monsters number three, but I'm guessing that's how they just did the cover. And there's the A cover. DC Future State number Gotham number 13. That's the B cover. Batman Killing Time number three. That's the B cover. Who what was done by Kale New. I really like a lot of Kale New stuff. It's pretty cool to me. Uh, we got Batman 123 cover that is done by Gabriel Del Otto. Also, Gabriel Del Otto. Amazing freaking... Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, B cover on that. And we have the Asian Heritage Month Batgirls C cover that is done by uh, Aubrey Mock on here. I also love the fact... Uh, Audrey Mock, actually, but I love the fact that, uh, that DC is putting the uh, artist's names right here on the labels it makes it really easy for you and then here's the actual b cover of batgirls number six which is done by michael cho and then in here i'm guessing we have the free comic book day books that i got from things from another world which looks like i got a third ninja turtles a maybe third spider-man venom a fourth, no, it's a second, yeah, a fourth Judgment Day, and the first time I finally got the Marvel Voices one, and yeah, so, uh, let's go to the next bunch of stuff, let's go ahead and clear this off real quick, I'm gonna pass these to my assistant, and here, be really careful with these, since they aren't bagged or boarded, put these all back in order but all right we are moving on to looks like okay i know exactly what this is now this is something that i got on ebay that was a cover i had to have and it is going to be awesome hopefully if you guys get to see this but you are about to see this i don't know why i said if this is definitely super cool to me. Wow, this is packed. Very. Let's see. All right. Let's see this thing. Oof. Oh, yeah. All right, Catwoman number 43, 1 and 25. By Sozo Machia. I love this book. I think I spent a little too much to get this book. I say... I spent 60 bucks on this book around, and uh, you should uh, look at uh, what the uh, prices are today, definitely. It's uh, an awesome cover. I mean, it's got Harley and Catwoman on it. They've got the drinks, or well, Catwoman's got the drinks, she's got the sucker. It just looks like they're having fun. It's a Polaroid. They're both, it's just, it's awesome. I love this thing. All right. 
Let's move on. All right. We are about to move on to this one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. This is Red Room Trigger Warnings, Issue 3. Also, this is the Bombardier and Sons variant. And it is obviously a tribute to the... Uh, she Hulk, Sensational She Hulk, number one, volume two. And uh, it's a genius. And I absolutely love it. And uh, I like to say, I love Red Room, buying everything Red Room I can. And so this is definitely, uh, this is definitely awesome. I mean, yeah. And Bombardier and Sons. Uh, Bombardier and Son, I mean. All right. Now. Let's do this one. Actually, I love this. This is in a, uh, it's like it's in my favorite kind of box. Six one six. Stuck so much on here. All right. Oh, here we go. Free the comic. already I hate because it's already telling you exactly let me flip that over again sorry if I let you cheat didn't do it on purpose you saw what it was on there by looking at the card if not okay We have regular Red Room Issue 3 and the 616 Red Room Issue 3 Trigger Warnings variant. And this was done by artist Matt Dalton. By the way, the Bombardier and Sons one. Oh, I didn't notice it had a Donna Butcher card on the back of it is I believe Trey Antley. Yes, Trey Antley did this one. But those are the three trigger warning covers I have so far. I should have more of this book coming soon. Uh, yeah, like definitely uh, more. I'll buy everything Red Room. You'll actually, I'm gonna do a video really soon within the next couple weeks on just my Red Room one stuff now we're gonna go into this stuff right here now this was a i was in the face like i said i was in a facebook group now we were talking about books and this guy said that he just finished a run and uh i uh have always collected this this run this book no matter how they've done it it's a character that's deep into my heart he was my first favorite comic character ever 
well, technically he was, the ca the the character, maybe not necessarily this incarnation, but at one time he was, but oh, here we go, Robin 144, this is Robin, I guess, you know, it's his first uh, solo book, I didn't get this one somehow, and I've never seen this cover, which is awesome, because I'm, mean, this is just great, getting an issue of Robin I didn't have. Uh, yeah, if you, if I suggest anything, like, I, I got down to where this was the only book I want to say I was collecting in the late 90s, and after this, I mean, at this point, I want to say by 144, uh, this was no longer the late, I mean, this was, you know, like, uh, maybe early 2000, well, no, actually, what's it say right here? It says that it was, uh, January 2006, so, you know, that freaking, uh, December 2005, so, yeah, but, all right, uh, this can, the end of this, uh, different stuff that I got, and, uh, I'm gonna talk to you in a second, we're gonna look at the stuff that I really think is cool that I got this week. All right, I'll talk to you here in a second. All right, now that we've done all that, which was super fun, let's see what my favorite stuff was this week. All right, I'm definitely going to go with one of the first thing is I like this Venus de Milo cover quite a bit. It's just a regular cover A. Also, Ninja Turtles. I don't care what anyone says right now. Buy Ninja Turtles. Like, everything, you know, previous, like, I didn't start till a couple months back whenever the mutant frogs came around, but I'm serious. Like, everything's been f good. Everything from what I've seen, this like just tons of first appearances, things like definitely like it's definitely a put if you just hop on whenever like you know definitely you won't be you will not be mad at yourself. But uh, speaking of also, this is it the yeah the Lucio Perillo Task Force Z cover with the Batman skull is just super cool too. Love it it's, and. Also, this Gabriel Del Otto Batman 123 B variant is also, once Gabriel Del Otto always hits it out of the park, I mean. But now, obviously, my favorite, favorite stuff of the week we're going to get to is going to be, I mean, these red rooms are awesome. They're really cool. I mean, this 616 cover done by Matt Dalton super cool this Trey Antley has done several of these covers and I've loved them all so much uh, stuff's really cool I mean I just the tribute I love tribute stuff but then the very last one that I've got is this uh, Catwoman 43 you know like I said man I mean I spent some decent cash on this book and I do not regret it at all it is super duper pretty and I mean those characters are just awesome I mean it's just great but now that's about the artistic side obviously of everything I do have to say because they're the only ones that I've really read and I know are for a fact are really good but Red Room Trigger Warnings 3 I've read this book I stand by this product. I know it is super gory and it is crazy, but I mean, growing up in the 90s, I mean, this is like, it just, it's definitely, I mean, it feels like, you know, it's just, it's a weird home that I just don't normally get to see. And I mean, yes, it's about all this weird, like, you know, people torture. It's about, it's about people buying torture on the internet, watching people get tortured on the internet, paying for it. It's, but it's, it's, it's just, it's just interesting. It's like a car crash that you just keep watching and you don't know what's going to happen next. And just when you think, you know, what's going to happen next and you're just like, wow. But also another shout out on the writing is this Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo's We Have Demons. This book, I've been reading it. Uh, if you have a comiXology uh, account 
or uh, if you actually what it says, you can read it on Comixology. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can read this book for free. Not just that, you can read it like two or three months ahead of time to see if you really like what's going on. Like that's what I do. I like this book. I've been buying it. I've been reading it ahead of time, and I've been picking up every cover since because I believe in this book, and I think it's awesome. And uh, yeah, but. That's all this stuff, and uh, I'll show you slides of everything that I got after this. And uh, don't forget, oh, <laughs> I can't believe I almost forgot. Thank you so much, James. Uh, the Robin, I mean, some guy I don't even know spent like five bucks, and five something, and sent me a book all the way from freaking California just because I didn't have it. I've never even talked to this guy before. That's cool. That's how cool this community is. That's how cool this hobby is. But thank you guys so much. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you can so I can keep doing these videos. Hopefully, uh, hopefully people do like it. And uh, I will see you guys soon.